What you're looking at here is an honor lock submission. Now, what happens is when students use honor lock, uh, it turns on their camera and records them talking. It also shows you their screen and it even can lock down their screen so they can't open up new browser windows and do things like that. And so what happens is, is I've given them a quiz with a quiz bank. They know what kind of questions they're gonna ask. They can use AI and study and practice and be ready to show me what they know. But when it's quiz time, it's gonna be a random question that pops up and they're just gonna have to look into the camera an impromptu answer to show me how confidently they know the concepts I'm trying to teach in my class. Let's take a look at two different students. Can you tell which student has his phone out and is using AI to try to figure out the answers in live time? Uh, hey, Professor May, I'm going to take my test. Um, what is retrieval practice? Um, uh, Retrieval practice is also known as the um, the uh, quizzing effect. It's when you test yourself so that you can make memories be stronger. Thank you. Hey, Dr. May, um, I'm ready to take the test. Uh, that's an easy question. What is retrieval practice? That's what you do in class, where you ask us at the beginning of class and then through the middle and at the end, and you keep asking us so that we have to retrieve the ideas from our memory. The more times we retrieve the ideas from our memory, the better we learn it. Now, what's kind of funny is that in week one, I thought it was a little bit weird, but by week two and week three, I just knew the answers like that. And so it definitely works, um, but that's what retrieval practice is.